Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Justin with The Pilot's Journey. Today we have the flight vlog video number four. This video we focused on power on stalls. We also got the landing in here as well. It was very, very windy today flying. It was uh, uh, a little nerve wracking to say the least. You know, the plane was rolling a lot back and forth. So that even added to the already nervousness that I had going into these stalls. Stalls are the thing that unfortunately kills the most pilots especially private pilots per year and you know sometimes they just get into conditions that they shouldn't be flying in or for whatever reason it's a very nerve-wracking you get that kind of deer in the headlights especially when the plane is you know going nose down and sometimes they just don't react properly so that's why it's very imperative that we take these trainings seriously uh, in order to prevent any kind of injury whatsoever um, my instructor told me that very easily put as long as you correct the events that are happening during a stall then it really becomes a non-event um, and basically during a stall all that happens is the wind is no longer providing lift to our wings so all we have to do is give lift to our wings by letting the plane recover for a bit and letting the wind start to roll over and under our wings providing us that lift so stay tuned for the video and i hope you enjoy
about 70 knots. Okay. 70. We take a peek at the runway. We can see the runway. We've been cleared for 17 right. We have 17 right. 7 right in sight. 7 right in sight. And let's go ahead. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go. Out here a little bit further to the left. There we go. And let's reduce power to about 15. Power to 15. Okay. Let's go power to idle. Power to idle. up on, on runway 17 right. We look down the runway, it looks clear, no coyotes, no geese, no traffic on the runway. And we're going to continue our descent. Oh, uh, it's powers at idle. And at 65 to 70 knots in this area is exactly where we want to be. Okay, we're coming down to the runway. We're going to keep flying our descent until we get about 68 feet off the runway. We're going to need a lead up only one. And then we just hold it here and just hold it here and just hold it here. Just hold it here. Just hold it here. Just hold it here. There we go. There we go. Okay. And we use our red arrow panels to make sure we stay on the center line. And we get the wobbly shopping cart wheel, so we just buy a little bit of back. That's right, because we're in 802. Yes, that's right. Good Lord, I hear zero two here at Papa Turn the left. Bravo 12, north on Bravo, I mean, that's frequency. Bravo 12, north on Bravo, this frequency. 802 is here, Papa. There we go. All right. Hey, there you go. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and give it a like if you liked the video. And also let me know how I did in the comment section below is where you can also uh, ask about any kind of future content videos, if there's something specific you want, or if there's an explanation, a uh, further explanation of something that we did, I would also like to be able to do that for you as well. Um, if you like the channel and you want to see more videos, you want to increase the quality of the videos as well, consider visiting me on Patreon. It really helps support me and the channel and also me and my dream being able to fly more and more every single day. So again, thanks so much for watching a pilot's journey flight vlog video number four. I'm Justin and I'll see you in the next one.